Hello and welcome to this episode of the CAPS Conversation Series. On this episode, very fortunate to have John Escalante with us. Welcome, John. Thank you. Yes. Now, I'm dressed a little bit different to what I usually am today, and that's because I've been uh, with John. John's my uh, trainer, and he's the one that keeps me in a bit of shape and uh, helps me keep my mind active for work. But John is so much more than a personal uh, trainer and fitness trainer across multiple strands. He's a former professional boxer, amateur boxer, criminology graduate, and a global uh, yeah, worker in a range of, range of fields. And he's a multilingualist, Arabic, English, Chinese, Tagalog, and I'm sure a number of dialogues in the Tagalog I speak, language. I speak, I speak Thai as well, but a little only. You speak Thai? Yeah. How did you learn to speak Thai? Because I was working in Thailand for a year. Okay, and whereabouts yes. in Thailand were you working? It's exactly in Bangkok. In Thailand. Bangkok? Yeah. And what were you exactly. doing there? I was working as a hotel supervisor way back 2017. 2000, was that before or after you were in China? Before. Before, before you I was were reassigned Ch there actually. From there and then I was moved there to Thailand. Oh, okay. Yeah. And how long were you in China for? For two years. I was there for two years and I was working also as a hotel supervisor as well. Okay. Now, yeah. but life for you began in uh, Mindanao, yes? Yes. I was raised and born in the south part of Mindanao, which is in uh, General Santos City. We all know who, where, who comes from General Santos, don't we? Yeah. But who's that? Um, with, the, with the very famous boxer now, it's Manny Pacquiao. Yes, yes. And uh, how far was your city from uh, General Santos? It's not really far. It's in the um, what is that? city. Yep, okay. Yeah. Now, a lot of people have the misconception that uh, Mindanao is, is not all that safe, but from my understanding, Mindanao, and particularly Davao, is the safest and uh, cleanest city in the Philippines. Exactly. Yes, you're right. Yeah, I know. And we all know why. It's uh, due to the, uh, the current president of the Philippines who uh, really cleaned it up and beautified the, beautified the place. Some beautiful beaches down there too, yeah? Yeah, we have, we have a lot of beaches in the Philippines. And in our, in my city as well, we have a you know tourist um, spots. Yep. Beaches. I'll have to go. I never never made it down that far, but maybe when we come to talk about what your venture is going to be, I might go there. Now, where did you go to school? Where elementary school, high school? Yeah, during during um, grade school, I was living in. General Santo City, which okay. is it's it's a four hours travel from Dabao City. Okay. Yep. And then after I graduated my grade school, I moved to Dabao City, uh, which I preceded my high school and tertiary level. Tertiary level. Yeah. Now, when you were studying in high school and at a university, is that when you took up boxing? Yeah, I was started boxing during my grade school age. Ah, okay. I think, as I remember, as I remember, it wa I was only nine years old that time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And when did you turn <laughs> professional? I was turned professional when I moved into Davao. Uh, my, some of my friends, they are professional fighters. And then I was, you know, um, always going with them so okay. they influenced me a lot so I decided to how old were you I am 19 years old 19 yeah so you were a university student at this stage yes exactly how did you balance uh, professional fighting and uh, studies because you're studying criminology not a not an easy uh, subject area especially with a uh, statute uh, law etc yeah but you know, during during that day, I need to I need to be a hard working guy because I need money. So yeah. yeah, I need to go to school. I need to to be an athlete to have an extra income as well. That is why I decided to balance it everything. You've done very well, and I'm very very impressed with your uh, resilience there. Now, 
You understand in the Philippines, if you study criminology, it's four years, yes? Yes, exactly. But four if you years. want to progress to the bar to be a lawyer, you have to study for another four another years. Another four years, you're right. Is, is that why you didn't continue along that path? Or? Because I don't have um, enough money to supply my studies. So, so after graduation, what did you do? I work. In the Philippines or China and Thailand or? No, in the Philippines. Um, worked there for several years before I decided to work abroad. Okay. Now, working abroad has enabled you to move towards your dream, yes? Uh, sort of, kind sort of. Sort of, yeah. yes. <laughs> now, I understand that you're going to move back to the Philippines soon. And uh, which, which city? I uh, will be moving in my city, which my family, where my family live. But it was in Davao City. In a proper... It's in Davao City. Yeah, Davao City. Yeah, Davao City, for those who don't know, is the capital of the uh, southern part of the Philippines. Beautiful city, safe city, close proximity to some of the best beaches in Asia. Now, what are you going to do there? Um, I am planning to build a small business, which is a gym, boxing, a mix of boxing and um, fitness gym together. Okay, will that sort of be like a, a combination where you're able to train amateur and professional fighters? Yes, and for real. Also, and also for people like me who uh, love the food but need to come and do the cardio type, uh, <laughs> boxer size type thing, yes? Exactly, yes. Yep. Now, will you also have weights and things like that or will it be more along the lines of a uh, of a boxing cardio gym it's a mix of you know cardio boxing weights every every um common common workout that you see inside a gym i will be also doing all, all the all the things together in my place that i planned okay fantastic and that should be where in uh, the middle or coming to the year's gone so fast we're in the middle towards the end of uh 2020 so you think maybe early 2021 2021 yeah around um maybe on march or june yep nice yeah. and by that time hopefully the flight restrictions will be uh opened up and uh We'll have a cure for COVID or at least a vaccine or something along those lines, or if not, some sort of plan so for the world to open up. Now, I know many people go to a different part of Asia to, to train in boxing, mixed martial arts and the, and the like, but John's gym down in Davao could provide a very, very good option for those of you who are fighters who are interested in training or who are interested in a bit of fitness and weight loss in a great part of the world. We'll post all uh, John's uh, social media uh, channels and websites and booking information on our social media channels so those of you who are interested can have a look. And we wish you all the best, John, because I know what you've done for me and how you've changed my life through your fitness guidance and motivation to keep me coming back i wish you all the best brother thank you and i will Mr. see Michel. you there in devour my man thank you so much thanks brother that's it